I made a video a little while back on shaders and shaders used in game development and kind of um, some stuff about them. I'm not super familiar with everything myself. I'm kind of trying to teach myself things about shaders. And in that process, I had showed off a, vi a website in the previous called Shader Toys. And Shader Toys is a website for hosting and displaying people's code and showing off shaders as well. And I decided this is pretty interesting. Maybe this is something I want to try doing myself. So I made this website called Shader Grounds. I made it about a week ago. It took me a few days I had to learn a lot of things. Um, the shaders themselves are being displayed with 3JS. 3JS is a library in JavaScript for basically showing off 3D graphical stuff. Um, I'm, so I'm just loading in a fragment shader, which is all the website does at the moment, just a single fragment shader, and displaying it onto the 3DJS canvas. But as we can see from this website, you can go to new, and it'll have this sample code. And here's the fragment code, and you can go ahead and change it to any way that you like. Um, basically, if you know how to code with uh, fragment shaders in GLSL, um, you can go ahead and do that. And I have some of the variables listed right here. You have the resolution variable, you have your U time and your U mouse. Um, some of these, the resolution and the U mouse uh, kind of are a little funky based on what browser you're looking at and uh, I guess how big the website is, um, the scale of how big you make it look. I have a, oh, it's full screen, um, but basically, yeah, just by the size of what you're doing, it'll look a little differently. But there's a lot of features I've added, but it's still not as great as Shader Toy, but I still think it's kind of cool. Yeah, you can go ahead and type the code in here. You can compile it once you've changed your code. And you can also log in and you can create an account. So you can just click sign up and you can create your account. Um, I have a verify email. I should probably get rid of that. You shouldn't be able to have to type your email twice. It'll send you an email and you can just verify your account. Let's go here to sign in. Um, let's log in. And once you're logged in, you can go ahead and click your profile. You can upload a profile picture. You just click the file and you click upload. You can also change some of your account information. Um, I mentioned in my video that I uploaded recently as well where I made a website that I was kind of learning about CGI and Ajax and stuff. There's no Ajax on this website, so every time you do anything, it reloads the page. So even this, the choose file, you upload it, it'll reload the page. You do this, you upload it, it'll reload the page and stuff like that. You can delete your shaders from here and you can go in here and look at the code and now it lets you save something. So if I wanted to look at someone else's, here's this one right here, I can change the code and I can make my own version of it. Uh, my little brother I showed on the website and he's been kind of going around and looking at some of the shaders on here and just slightly changing stuff. But uh, yeah, it's kind of neat. There's a YouTuber and a guy yeah, it's on Twitter. That's what I knew him from originally. His name is Xor, um, Xor Dev. I had talked about him in the previous video. You guys should totally check him out. I'll have his stuff linked in the description. But he's posted some stuff on the website um, that are he knows way more than I know about this stuff. But uh, yeah, I think it's actually really cool. He's got his shaders to work, um, which I'm pretty glad about because it shows the even though I don't know too much about shaders, it shows that the website as a whole seems to work. Um, you can explore. So these are the newest ones. If you do the explore, there's a link at the top as well. It'll show the oldest ones to the newest. Um, so you have this world one is just using some Perlin noise and I set some colors based on the height of the Perlin noise basically and it looks like a world. Um, I thought it was kind of cool. You can also comment and when you comment you can post it on there. And there's a few other things. Once it's saved you can look at the full screen. You can zoom in a little bit. and course you don't have to reload actually like I was saying the, the sizes of the resolution is always changing and you can also use the API the API is just this link right here you can do raw.cgi question shader equals and you give it your shader ID and it can pull the code so that way if you have a program or a game that has a shader that you want from this website you can just call it from the CGI uh, from the API basically and you can pull the shader code straight from there. So you can host all your shaders on here and be able to change them on here and share them on here and get people's opinions from here and they'll be able to do it. Um, this right here is not an iframe, but you look right here, these are all iframes. And iframes work the same way as this full page. 
and that is being done with this iframe that it generates for your uh, shaders that you can look at. So you can go ahead and actually just copy this line of HTML and post it onto your website so you can be able to share your shader with other people. At least show share the graphical output of your shader this way. Uh, of course you can share the link as well for your shader and you can share the actual code using the API. So I thought of something useful. Um, thought it was kind of a cool project that I wanted to work on. I have a Twitter for it as well. It's uh, actually Twitter's linked down here. So feel free to check it out. Feel free to give it a follow. If you guys like the website, um, check it out as well. Um, hopefully it's useful. I'm going to be working on it off and on um, from here on out. But I just thought it was a kind of a cool thing because I wanted to learn about shaders and I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different than what some other people do. So thanks again for watching and hope you enjoyed the video and see you guys again next time. Bye.